Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, I'm going to show you a quick little hack on how to make sure you can back your trailer into your garage. Okay, so you can see I have the trailer in the garage and when you set this up this is the position you want to start at and you might need extra people especially if you're new at this to get your trailer whether it's a boat RV cargo whatever it is into the proper position that you want it every single time in the garage so we have this RV in here and of course you know, I'm standing as if I'm in the truck, right? So I'll be able to see down the left side of the trailer, right? The driver's side of the trailer, but I'll be unable to see the far side. And that makes a lot of people nervous because they're, they're afraid they're gonna, you know, mess up the trailer uh, on the far side. So I wanna show you what I did to completely eliminate that possibility. And, and that is, by adding a cheater stripe to my driveway. Now, back in my trailers in, it was even worse because my driveway is not lined up directly with the, uh, with the garage, it goes out further. Uh, so the things you're gonna need to do this, uh, roll a string, and I can show you that string right here. Roll a string, a weight to keep the line exactly where you want it. We're also going to need some paint. You could paint this by hand since you have the stripe down, but I used a striper that I had for volleyball, which looks like this. And you can buy these cans of paint that just go into the sleeve like this and then you use a trigger to, you know, to set it. So you just can roll this down there and stripe it. So that saves a lot of time and then you can refresh it. You know, once you have your existing line down, if you're up here in the north, you know, the winter is gonna, snow is gonna knock some of that off, but I have those line, that line set up. Uh, so what we do, the first thing we wanna do is I want this string to come along the side where I want the unit to be. So I want it to come right along that tire. So we see, I just tied it on to the stabilizer jack and then I have it running by the tire. And then that line forms exactly the way I want it. And I want it parallel all the way out for me to the edge of the driveway. Now. If I have that tire right on this line, I know that I have plenty of clearance on this side. And the reason I put that line where I put it is because I wanted enough room that I can get in and out of the unit. So I can pop this door, open it, put my steps down, and I have enough room. So I'm at the right spot on this side uh, distance wise and I know I'm not gonna hit this by keeping the driver's side tires on that line I can back the trailer in here uh, if no one's home I can do it on my own I don't need anybody guiding me so I'm gonna hook up the tr I'm gonna hook up the truck and I'm gonna pull it out and back it in so you can see how it works. So here you can see with the camper pulled out halfway that my tire is lined up on that orange line and I got room on this side with no problems. And you can see I have plenty of room over here. I want more room over here because this is the blind side, the side that I can't see. I just wanted to show you that on the RV.
All right, so I'm gonna pull it out and then you can see me back that thing in there. Okay, so we have the trailer on the line and we're just gonna back her right in on that line with confidence. Follow along. As you can see, that really helps quite a bit. In putting the trailer that you're towing, be it an RV trailer, a boat trailer, a cargo trailer, motorcycle trailer, it just helps you build confidence in backing into spaces, especially when you have, you know, obscured vision. By using this simple little technique, saving yourself peace of mind, and then you really will start to build confidence in backing that trailer up. Uh, you'll notice after you do this a couple times, uh, it'll, it'll become routine. And it even makes it easier when you start backing it into campsites because you're so used to doing this, it becomes second nature. Uh, if you're having trouble uh, backing up your trailer uh, on, you know, anywhere on a regular basis, there is a video by the Wandering Wagners uh, that Mike did, Mike Wagner did, that uh, helps people figure out how to back things up. Uh, so this video that I'm doing is strictly to help you get your trailer into a garage, but if you want to see some of the more technical details on how to back up a trailer, I would encourage you to check out Wandering Wagner's YouTube channel uh, and check out Mike's video on how to back up uh, an RV trailer. Hey, if you found this video helpful, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video, and give the video a thumbs up, especially if it was helpful. More important than all that, go out there and have some fun. Thanks for watching.